China's economic performance has been highlighted. Governor Zhou says China's economy is still in good shape, despite reforms to move away from growth driven primarily by investments and construction. He says authorities have been able to keep inflation under control while still leaving enough room for the economy to grow. The International Monetary Fund also remains optimistic with China's future. Its latest World Economic Outlook says the Chinese economy will grow by 6.6 percent this year. The IMF says China has made significant progress in shifting towards a more service-oriented economy. Yet the positive outlook comes with a note of caution. IMF has kept the same projection for China's economic growth for 2016 and 2017. What does this message mean to China and to the world? We're optimistic for the near term, but over the medium term, we are, we are less optimistic. There can be resource misallocation if growth is supported by uh, propping up uh, sectors where there's excess capacity. The IMF says China should prepare for debt risks. Chinese Finance Minister Lo Ziwei said China's government debt is under control. China's central government debt is very healthy. The central government debt to GDP ratio is 18 percent. Now there is faster expansion of local government debt. The central government has taken disciplinary actions regarding local government debt. The finance minister also knows uncertainty and risks in the global economy. He says increased geopolitical risk and terrorist attacks could have significant repercussions on the global economy and international financial markets. Financial markets always overreact. It is inevitable that the financial markets will magnify the effects of uncertainties. Secondly, we should see that to attribute the current political risks to factors including elections is a superficial understanding. The real reasons behind them are anti-globalization, populism, and these types of issues. This has made some statesmen choose political correctness as their campaign slogans. Ministers and governors also discuss taxation, beneficial ownership and anti-money laundering.